Hello, this is Bashar. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can encrypt a user password while saving it to the database. Again, we have a repository right here and we will start from this main branch and the final result can be found at this branch, bcrypt. So in this tutorial, we are going to encrypt the user password with bcrypt. So let's start with cloning this project. So here in this console running git clone and this repository. Now opening this directory in Visual Studio Code. Let's go over the project. Here we have this pom.xml and we are running the Spring Boot version 2.4.1 and I'm running the Java version 11. And the dependencies are Spring Data JPA, Spring Security, Spring Web, Spring Boot Starter Web. And we have the dev tools. We have in memory H2 database and the Lombok. And the others are test related dependencies. And if we check the project source, we have this user package. In this user package, we have this user entity. And this is a, an entity having these fields, username, email, password. And we have corresponding user controller. We have this endpoint post mapping. And this is calling the user service save method. Here is the user service. And it is delegating the save operation to user repository. And here the user repository. So in this flow you can see nothing is changing the sent request the content is basically saved to database through the user repository save method now we are going to encrypt the user password with bcrypt algorithm so first let's run the application So we will log into our H2 web console and check the password of the user in the database table. Here in this output, if you have the uh, dev tools, as I do, so this one, you will see the output like this one uh, right here. Uh, it is saying that this is this line, H2 console available at this path and the database is available at this uh, connection URL. So it is localhost 8080 h2 console. And we are redirected to this login page. This login page is coming with the Spring security dependency. So by default, the Spring Boot is configuring the Spring security if it sees in the dependency array dependency list here. We are going to use the password encoding algorithm coming with the Spring security, but in our application for now, we are not going to use the Spring security. We are just going to use the encryption algorithm. So let's disable the auto configuration. So in this main class, we have the Spring Boot application annotation and we can exclude Spring security auto configuration like this. This uh, annotation is taking arguments and we can set the argument of the exclude. And we just set the auto configuration class of Spring security, which is security auto configuration class. So saving this one and stopping this console and running the application once again. The DevTools is not uh, properly working uh, with this change. It is automatically restarting, but it is failing with this uh, exclude part. So uh, we have to stop and start the application. Now let's refresh our page once again. Again, going to H2 console here. And here we see the login screen for the embedded H2 database. Uh, before Spring Boot version 2.3, uh, 
this JDBC URL used to be the, the default value used to be this one JDBC H2 mem test DB but uh, after 2.3 this URL is being generated dynamically and throughout this tutorial we will be restarting our application a couple of times so each time this connection URL will change so uh, let's uh, let's make things easy for us by just changing the behavior and let's tell Spring that we don't want the, the name to be dynamic we, we want Spring data source generate unique name functionality to be false so saving this one and let's see the result once again application is restarted and here we have the database is available at this URL so opening the console once again refreshing this page and just clicking the connect and here we see the user is right here and currently the table is empty now let's send a post request with the postman for this endpoint so we have this username email and password sending this request so we are receiving 200 okay and the user id so this is saved to database uh, we are returning back the user object saved to database and the password is right here so the user is saved to database and we can confirm it in the h2 console right here running this query and here we see the user entry is right here and the password is just the clear text now we are going to fix this so we will do that in user service right here let me minimize this part here so we are going to use a password encoder coming with the spring security so we will have a password encoder variable here and let's initialize that and we are going to create an instance of bcrypt password encoder so here we are going to encode the user password by running this password encoder encode user get password so this is going to be creating the encoded password and then we are just going to set the password back this encoded password back to the user password so that's it saving this one and the application is restarted again sending our request with postman so here we are seeing the password is this value this is a bcrypt hashed data and if we go back to h2 console and connect the once again and here we see the password is hashed in the database so when storing a user password we must be encrypting it so that the database admins cannot see the user password so that's how we should be storing our users credentials in our database so thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next tutorials